right, it is, uh, I guess, what is becoming an annual trip out in Western South Dakota. Um, chasing Merriam's around for the next few days. So I'm gonna go do a little scouting right now and try to put some birds to roost tonight. But uh, yeah, that's the plan. Just gonna go do a little driving around, exploring. Um, I love it out here. Should be a fun hunt. And uh, gonna do a full update on the van status and kind of where we're at now on the build. Um, so yeah, just wanna update you guys on where the build's at, what the plans are for the rest of it, and uh, just give you a better look uh, into kind of what the, what the dream vision is for the van. So here we go. All right, well, <laughs> uh, that happened really fast. Uh, we came in here this morning, got the blind set up. We actually almost blew it on some hens. We were right underneath them. Looped around, set up over here, and then uh, obviously that Tom came across this meadow right in, and Josh made a good shot. So yeah, still got two more tags, or I have two more tags. So let's go find now some more birds. Now we're 100%. Yeah. yeah, let's go. Right on.
Hey everybody, uh, so Josh and I are out here in western South Dakota chasing turkeys um, amongst the beautiful ponderosa pines. But uh, it's the first time that we've been able to hunt in the mostly converted band project together. So uh, due to the coronavirus, obviously I haven't been traveling a whole lot. And Josh has been in Colorado really hammering away on the build. Um, so what we want to do is kind of give you guys an updated look at what the van project looks like right now. Uh, and where we're going with it to finish it up to be basically ready for the rest of the year to hunt out of. So yeah, we're just gonna switch spots. I'll become the cameraman and I'm gonna let Josh walk through um, everything that he's done. Now, some of this you've already seen in our build videos and you'll see more of those as they go. Um, but this is just an update of where we're at, um, everything that we've done to it, and then kind of the vision behind the rest of the build and uh, what we're what we're trying to do with the, with the van project. So. Uh, yeah, with that, let's switch camera guys and we'll let Josh take it away. All right, everybody, so let's get into this. Um, kind of obviously, there's some, if you've been following along with the project, you know, there's some really obvious differences. You know, one of those differences being the fender flares and just decided to put this, these things on. I've been turkey hunting in Colorado a little bit and this, uh, the knobby tires on this rig do throw quite a bit of mud up on the side. So we thought we'd go ahead and throw the fender flares on there. Just kind of protect the sides of the van a little bit and keep a little mud off of it when we're out doing what we do these are just a universal set that we got a hold of kind of did some looking out there couldn't think of anything specifically for the chevy express so that's uh but i think they turned out great um they're super rock solid on there actually have them screwed to the kind of the outside around the top of the van and underneath so they should hold on really well and do the job they need to do and then we went with a baja voodoo rack uh safari rack on the top of the van and this is a full length rack it's about 13 feet long so tons of of space to be able to haul any additional gear that we need to that's not going to fit in the van the other thing that this thing is going to allow us to do is mount those zamp solar panels uh, right on the front that and so they'll be securely mounted permanently and we don't need to be setting those setting those out and taking them in every time we're traveling they'll just be up there charging the juice on the battery the entire time we're rolling to where we're going and while it's set up as camp so excited to get that part of it done and just have onboard power for everything we do all the time right now we have the uh, spare tire sitting up on the rack but that will be eventually shifted into some aftermarket bumpers that we're going to be putting on the front and rear of the van all right and then kind of moving on to the interior of the van uh, we did once we ripped all the interior out of this thing, it was it was very loud inside. It was kind of like rolling around in a gigantic can. So we did do a lot of sound dampening, as you saw in one of our films, in the doors, uh, in the walls, and and then we I've additionally gone and put in this wool, and this will all get really sealed up because we'll have coverings on the doors and various aspects that we're going to be implementing into the doors for storage, for utility use, that kind of thing. And so all of this will get covered up and tightened up, but we shoved all the insulation into these doors just to kind of additionally quiet things down. And between the 80 mil sound dampening and that wool sitting everywhere, it is amazing how much better this thing rides and drives as far as the noise component goes. And then through this cargo mat on the floor here to kind of dampen down noise out of the floor and also give us a little bit of insulation out of that floor panel, through in the deck system, and these drawers are absolutely fantastic they're a huge storage component for us with this build and uh, are incredibly heavy duty and the other kind of cool thing that we threw on top of that is this cargo glide and this cargo glide is actually uh, what we're going to be using it for is this really sweet weapon slide out so you know sam and i this is almost like a like a little kid type I don't know, like James Bond slide out fantasy thing here with this. We're going to actually have foam uh, cutouts where we'll have to be able to set, you know, each implement that we're using for that respective hunt into this slide. But this is uh, just going to allow us to have a really secure place to haul our weapons. Um, this entire capsule, basically, of the bed frame, the deck, the cargo glide, it will all be completely encased and be able to be lockable. So gives us an additional aspect of security too, but a really, really convenient and uh, a nice way to use this little space between the deck and the bed frame to haul and protect, whether we're rifle hunting, wing shooting, or archery hunting, 
we'll be able to have everything kind of nice and tidy in here and secure and riding softly. So pretty excited about that part. So yeah, the final thing I've kind of been working on with this thing is getting this bed frame built. And uh, kind of what I've done here, went with the super fancy oak plywood on the frame to kind of make everything a little bit more rigid and burly. Left a gap here in the middle. And the reason for this gap is we're actually gonna trim our mattress so that we have two separate mattresses that are, are able to be put in here. And we'll be building a separator uh, that can actually get slid in and out of this. And what it's gonna allow us to do is just have like two sleeping cubbies, you know, so when it's Sam and I using this thing together, we kind of have our own space at night. With doing it this way and having it all the way out, you know, to the wall, we have 32 inches of shoulder space to sleep in, uh, six foot six inches on the length. So a nice comfortable bed for each of us to be in. When we're out here using this van with our wives, um, we can actually pull the separator and just lay in a queen mattress uh, or have it be a queen mattress here and then just have it be one bed. So, or if, you know, a solo, if one of the, or the other of us is using it, we can just use it as a single bed. So uh, the other thing I kind of integrated into this is um, some, went with the leather uh, hinges off of some veggie tanned leather I had, threw in some paracord, but actually built these um, interior, you know, sort of rudimentary storage compartments underneath the bed flat. So we were just going to have some wasted space between the cargo glide and the hub and, and the top of the bed frame. So decided to make these boxes and be able to actually use, you know, this space for storage. And, you know, while this, this will be underneath the mattress um, when we're running most of the time, so not items that you're going to use on like a minute to minute basis, but there's a lot of stuff that you know, the only time it gets hauled is when you're going to camp or when you're all packed up and you're leaving camp and we can simply pop the mattress up and get those compartments loaded and uh, use it for that type of storage. So happy with how it came out. The bed frame super solid. It's comfortable to sleep on. We've done it a few times now. So yeah, after that, I'll kind of turn it back to Sam here and give you a little more of the vision of what we're going to be up to next. And uh, we're going to get back to turkey hunting. So now, um, you've kind of seen what we've done to it so far. Now the vision that we have going forward on what to do with the rest of it, uh, starting with the outside door, obviously you can see the water heater sitting here already. There will be a box built basically around this that has, that'll fold out to have a very small sink. And then this will be a table where we can put our camp stove and be able to cook on. So this will be kind of like our, our makeshift kitchen. And then on this door, we're actually not quite sure what to do with this yet. So if you have any ideas about different storage components, what we could do on this passenger door, be sure to comment below and let us know um, any ideas that you might have. But um, yeah, moving into the van. So in here, this is kind of like our, our gear hole, but um, we'll be putting a floor down, floor down here, basically have to build out a little framework and then put a floor across the top of that. And then on this side, we will have a small cabinet that will run from the bed all the way basically up behind the, the driver's seat. And in that, it'll be obviously storage space for different gear items. But what we're gonna do is once we mount the solar panels to the roof rack, then we'll run the wire down in behind and run it to a battery system and an inverter so we can have constant power on the, the charge like Josh talked about. And then it'll allow us to charge camera batteries, phones, computers, whatever we might need to on the go, as well as power all the lights that we're gonna put into the ceiling. So once we have cabinet built, then we'll start doing all the finish work to cover up all the exposed metal, including the ceiling. And we're just gonna use a really thin, I believe it's eighth inch tongue and groove pine. And that'll basically cover the entire top. And down that, we're gonna have two rows of super bright LED lights that we can run off of a, off of a switch and, have plenty of light in here when we need it. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for the interior here. Um, obviously it's a kind of a never ending project so there'll always be little things that we can tweak and change. If you have any ideas for things that maybe you've done in your van or things that you've seen, um, don't hesitate to comment below. Or so for heat and AC, so we're gonna do a Dometic um, ceiling vent fan, basically just to be able to pour out a bunch of the heat that'll come into the van from just sitting in the sun. And then for heat, we're gonna run a gas tank heater, um, a Wabasto um, yeah, gas tank heater. So it'll run off basically very little fuel 
and should heat this thing up uh, pretty nicely in here. At least that's the uh, that's the plan for right now. Yeah, and then the last thing, uh, Josh and I have been brainstorming. If you remember the bus project, I built a 10 by 20 external wall tent that sits up against the, the bus. And so we're trying to come up with a concept um, to do a very similar build, but either you're gonna retrofit the, um, the bus tent, or we're gonna do a, a new custom build on that, just to give us a lot more room for not only gear sprawl, but uh, be able to then lock up the tent or zip up the tent and drive the van away and go hunting and have a lot of the gear back in the in the wall tent so yeah the rest of the project should be pretty fun and of course we'll bring you as you know as many updates as we possibly can as we go through the build so in case you're looking to do your own van conversion maybe it'll give you some ideas um, about doing your future build so we appreciate you following along with what we're doing with the van and uh, it's going to be pretty exciting to have this whole project done if you like these videos, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe and share and do all of those good things that help us with the Google algorithm. That's it for this one. We will bring you more updates as we go.